Finally, one more thought. What difference does a day make here or there? On Wednesday, White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki insisted that it was the 49th day of the Biden presidency. Tomorrow marks the 50th day of the administration. Uh, it also marks one year since the country shut down. Something echoed by Chief of Staff Ron Klain in a tweet. That conveniently made the president's primetime address the next day fall exactly halfway into his first 100 days, a time that he set as a milestone for getting a lot done, including getting 100 million Americans vaccinated. Axios, Axios picked up on it. They noted that whether it was really 49 or 50 days, depending on whether you counted his inauguration day as his first day in office. That dimly echoed that early dispute, remember it, between the Trump White House and the press corps over how many people really attended President Trump's 2016 inauguration. But whether it was 49 or 50 or even 51 days, no one can deny that the Biden administration has done something bigger and faster than just about anybody could have predicted. Something on the order of President Obama's stimulus plan to pull us out of the great financial crisis, or even, even President Roosevelt's New Deal package to pull us out of the Great Depression. History will judge the consequences, but will likely forget the exact timeline. Just as it's long forgotten that FDR's first 100 days radio address, well, it actually happened on day 143 of his administration.